Okay, so this is going to be a guide on how to change the CSPs, BPs, RSPs, and as well as install custom skins into Project M. Now, I do have a couple of guides already on the subreddit regarding this, and you can uh, click those and go to them, and they'll still be very relevant, uh, and they'll actually give you some numbers that will help make this process a little bit easier uh, for everyone. Now, as well as we're going to have to download just a few things here, a couple of them being Brawl Box, and if you want to look on Brawl Vault, I'll link it in the description as well. But look on Brawl Vault, and I will have the most updated version of Brawl Vault, or Brawl Box rather, uh, uploaded to the description. So, you need Brawl Box, the download of your choice, for example, in this tutorial, we'll be using Sosa's Wario Pit. And finally, you need an extraction program such as WinRAR. WinRAR is free, you can Google it yourself, and once again, I'll have a link in the description to just make everything easier for you. So again, to start off, a couple of these guides uh, do address everything. They will have the numbers for the textures of what you would potentially be looking to replace, all laid out for you to make everything clean and nice and easy to understand. So, to start off, since we are going to be replacing a file here. Uh, this is going to be going uh, with pit of 0404, which is standard yellow pit from Brawl. Now, once you have downloaded the file of your choice, most people on Brawl Vault will have a single compressed file. For example, Sosa's Pit War Wario Pit. This is how I've created the file. It's all compressed into one. Now, it has all of the files the BP, the CSP, the stock icon, and both the PAC and PCS files. So all you have to do is highlight all of these files, click Extract To, and extract it to wherever you'd like. You can make a folder on your desktop or in a separate folder for custom Smash stuff, up to you. But once you've extracted it, uh, it'll look something like this, where we have all five files in one clean, easy place. So to start, uh, this is just to install the skin, so all you'd have to do is take both of these files, and we're going to have to put them in Pit's Fighter folder. To get there, this is a stock version of Project M 3.6, no changes at all. So we would go to Project M, PF, Fighter, and then of course, Pit. Now once we're here, you're going to see a few files. If they're here, that means they're in the game. They are already something that is replacing something else from Brawl. For example, Pit, uh, Fit Pit 01 is the Red Pit skin that was replaced by the PMDT. So it's in the game. It's something that's changed. However, we don't see Fit Pit 00. That is the default skin for Pit. And that is from Brawl, so it has not been changed, it's regularly in the game. They didn't have to do anything to overwrite it or change it. So in our example, using Sosa's Wario Pit, we are going to be taking both Fit Pit 04, this is the pack file, and this is the PCS file, and if you want you can always click and open them and check uh, the file itself. But for both these files, all you'd have to do is now that we're in this folder, is highlight both of them, and drag it into the folder, and you're done. That's how you would install a skin. It's as easy as that. Now, this one overwrites the yellow skin, and if you're unsure as to what numbers match the specific skin, as some creators will not always put the number like I've done here to match what the file is, my guide on the numbers um, for this one right here, how to change, the, now this is 3.5 and someone did upload, or update rather, the process for 3.6. I'll link both of these, but this is just in a Reddit post, so in my opinion it might be a little bit easier to read. But if we want to hit Control F to find it and type in PIT, we see MISC data 22. And we'll see that time and time again. Uh, the two uh, numbers that precede everything else will be 22. So now the easiest way to figure out which the numbers are that we would need to replace and go throughout this is if we go back just for presentation sake, and we go Project M, PF, and Menu 2, and then we go to SC Cell Character. Now if we open this up, we'll see a few things. We're going to see a bunch of different numbers, and it looks confusing, but just go to the blue one, the ARC, uh, Char Bust Text LZ77. Double click that, and we're going to open it up, and we're going to go all the way down to 22, just like the list said, 
and open textures. Now if we drag this open just a bit, we'll see a bunch of numbers, and as we can see there are the pit CSPs. Now, once again, if you want to figure out what character yours corresponds to, it's on the list. So pit was 22. We go here and we can see all these different numbers for all his different skins. Pretty easy. And once again, I have mine labeled 222 because this is going over the pit skin for 222. Now, that is the number for the yellow skin. So for everything here on out, we're going to be looking for 222. That is kind of the magic number involved with replacing this. Now, again, if you wanted to do it over the original, 221 would be it, and so forth. So just figure out the number that corresponds to the skin you're attempting to replace. So once you have that down, we're going to go step by step here. So we're going to go through the first one. So again, 222, magic number. So we're going to go to the beginning, Project M, PF, Info, Portrait. Now, once again, uh, 220, if we go back to the guide here, is Pitt's uh, kind of the magic number, 22. As long as it starts in 22, we know it's going to correspond to Pitt. So now if we go back into both folders, we're going to scroll down until we see something that starts with 22. And we see one right here, 223. Now this is likely going to be Pitt's red skin as it was replaced. So as we can see right there, 223 is in fact Pitt's red skin. Now here's the thing, I don't have the file for this specific folder. And here's why. It does not exist. So I'm going to show you how to create it yourself if you want to, and it'll take a whole five seconds. All you have to do is, for example, it does not matter which one you pick in any way, but if, for example, we'll just say we'll take 223. We'll copy it, and we will paste it into this folder. Now, just to check, it is red pit still, because of course the folder, the file is copied. But we want to right click it and rename it because once again, I'll say it over and over just to reiterate, 222 is the magic number. So what we want to do is we've now renamed it to correspond to the yellow pit skin and we'll open it back up. And now of course nothing will change, it's still red pit, but this is where we're going to change these two things, the number of the file and the picture that is available for the battle portrait. So all you do is either right click and hit replace or for quickness, Control R to replace the file. And now we're going to go once again to the file, the folder rather, and double click BP. Now triple check because this is very important. As long as the file is 48 by 56, you're good to go and everything's fine. That is the exact size resolution that the, fi the file needs to be. If it is not that size, it will crash the game. So it's very easy to uh, see this, you can see the info, top right, 48 by 56. Simply click OK, and it's replaced. Now before you close the window, hit Control S to save, or go to File, Save, easy as that. Close it out, and we have our new InFace 222 file. So now to install it, once again, as easy as highlight it, drag, and drop into the folder, and you have the Battle Portrait installed, easy as that. So now that the battle portrait's been installed, uh, now we're going to do the next portion. So again, I'm going to keep going all the way to the beginning just to make it as easy as possible to understand this. So we're going to go Project M, PF, and we're just going to go down the line here for each part. So Info 2, and I believe this is the stock icon spot. And for here, we are going to go to MISC Data 30 and textures. Now you're going to see all sorts of stuff. It's going to look very confusing, but we don't care about any of this here. We're just going to look for our spot. Remember our magic number, and we're going to find it right there. And as we can see, it is pit with a little bit of yellow. Of course, this is what we're looking for. So again, control R to replace, and there you go. You have your stock icon, hit open, and then hit OK, and it will install the stock icon. And again, we see the resolution is 32 by 32. That is a must. As long as it says that, we'll do it again just for uh, confirmation. 32 by 32. As long as it says that, you're good to go. Hit replace, and your stock icon is installed. Now, the stock icon appears in a couple of different places, so we will be going over that uh, for each spot as to replace everything so that it looks as if it was done in Brawl or as if the dev team themselves had installed it. 
So next part, we're going to go once again, Project M, PF, and now Info and Info2 and Fighter are all done, but next up we have Menu. We're going to go to Common and Stock Face Text. Once this opens up, we are going to go to Textures and again, go all the way down to the magic number that we found, 222, and again, go through the exact same process, Control R, select your stock icon, numbers match, good to go, and again, 99% of your files will be of the proper resolution. It's just to make sure that nothing's messed up. We don't want the game crashing, of course. So once that's done, click save. Now that's uh, reiter reiterating, before you, once you've replaced everything, always go to file, save, and then close your window just to make sure everything's proper. So next up, in the exact same folder in common, right above st uh, stock face text, we have char bus text. And of course, Pitt's number starts with 22. We're gonna go to this file here and open up the textures, and this is once again, to replace a CSP. Now, of course, all files are available, but we only want the 222, Control R once again, and CSP, they match up, and we're good to go. Simply click OK, hit Save, and then close your window. And that will be replaced. And next up, we're gonna go all the way back once more, Project M, PF, and now Menu 2. And this is where we got our magic number from, SC cell character. So this is where we got the magic number from. We're going to go to uh, char bus text LZ77 once more. We know he starts with 22 textures. And you can kind of scroll over, do what you need to to see the numbers. And again, 222, two, two, very, very easy process. We're going to replace this once more. Make sure the numbers match up. It's good to go. Hit OK. And again, hit file, save, and then close your window, and it's been replaced. And I think we have two things left. So we go Project M, PF, and we just did Menu 2. And now the very, very last part, this is for when the game is over, when the characters are either you know, in their victory animation or applauding the victor. But we go to Stage, Melee, and then we're going to go all the way down. I know there's a lot of files here, but basically ignore 99% of them. And then we're going to look for STG result. Double click this, open it right up. And we're going to see a couple of things. This is different than everything else, but it's pretty basic. Open up two, go all the way down until you see MISC data 120. Open up textures. And actually, this is for the uh, stock icon at the end of the game. So you see how who you had KO'd in the battle. So once again, looking for the magic number. There it is. And the exact same process. Control R. Select the stock icon. As long as they match up, hit OK, and you're good to go. And before you close, once again, click Save. And that is basically everything. That is how you install every aspect of a custom costume. And I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or something was unclear, I made it as clear and cookie cutter as I possibly could. But again, if anything was a little cloudy, you didn't quite understand something, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll put an annotation or something to clear it up. But thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please smack that like button and subscribe for more potential content and tutorials. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.